So the thousand year mid war arc, sorry, blood war arc is back and Bleach is doing what Bleach does best. Making me care very little about the anime and just enjoy the action that I see in front of my screen. Because first things first I have to give Bleach its flowers. This is one of the greatest animated episodes of Bleach I've ever seen. In fact, I think it's the best. All the animators who worked on this episode are big flowers. Shout out to you, you did your best. And I am sorry that you had to put all your skills and all your talent into this garbage. It's like Taita Kubo never learns his lesson. I have finished the manga by the way, I know how it ends. It's quite unfortunate that something so good, something that has the potential to be the best anime ever created, fails to do it because the author is too lazy to flesh out his characters. I care very little about everything that happens on the screen. Stick with me for a minute. When Yamamoto died, that was supposed to be a pivotal moment in the anime. That was supposed to make me cry, make me feel like how I felt when Ace was stabbed, like how Jiraiya was stabbed. But I felt nothing. Do you know why? Because I care very little about Yamamoto. And here's the funny part. I am sure Yamamoto has been seen more times than Ace has been seen in One Piece. But for some weird reason, we all cry when we remember about Ace's death. But no one gives a shit about Yamamoto. Out of all the anime war arcs, this has the least amount of emotional impact. If someone dies, if someone loses, I don't give a shit. Because I've not been given a reason to give a shit. I dare you to do something. Pause this video, go to the comments and tell me if you remember any Stain Rita by their names and their power. We are not given a backstory. We are not given a motive why they choose to follow you back other than he's our leader. We barely get any relationship between the Stain Readers. All we know is that they know each other, but we don't know how they know each other. And the most we get to know about them is when we have exposition. Exposition about the powers and what it does before they get defeated because almost all Stain Readers lose. I have no reason to care if a Shiningami wins because I'm not given a reason to. The Thousand Year Blood War arc is one big matchmaking and exposition fest. Oh, this guy meets this guy and they fight. During the fight, this guy talks about his new power and this guy gets his new power and they fight. Boom, story ends, next fight, repeat, repeat. It's the same thing over and over. Episode after episode, I'm seeing the same thing over and over. It, it gets boring. But once again, shout out to the animation, shout out to the animators. You guys have done your best, and I'm sorry you are given crap to work on. I expect the usual Bleach haters to come spamming my comments and flooding my video with dislikes. I really wish Bleach fans would sit down and have the audacity to criticize the creator for giving them a shit story instead of upvoting this anime in every single ranking site. The reason why your anime keeps getting cancelled, the reason why Studio Pierrot would rather make another season of Black Clover and Boruto before they make another season of Thousand Year Blood War Arc is because you people don't call out the author on his mistakes. You glaze and you praise Taita Kubo every opportunity you get even when he keeps spitting on your faces. You have a right to be given a good story but you keep glazing him. Anyway, Thousand Year Middle Arc Core 3. I'm not gonna lie, I'll still keep watching it because it's fun to watch and to hate on it. See you in the next video.